Ok, vamos a ver, vamos, eh, bueno, quise dejar un poquito de gramática al inicio de la clase para pasar a la siguiente, a la siguiente dinámica. But this is just a review, please. Everybody go to this page. Exercise number one. This is just a review. Complete the sentence with as or than. Remember, as is when we compare two things are the same, and then is when we compare two things that are totally different. For example, can you please, Walter, me ayudas a leer literal A, por favor. The film wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Excellent. Letter B, can you please, Christian? Yes, uh, the holiday was more expensive than we expected. Excellent. Compare more expensive. Can you please, Genesis, letter C? This classroom is a lot nicer than the, the one we had last year. Comparity nicer. Thank you. Walter, letter D, please. We are feeling much more tired than yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Permítame solo que ingrese Marce. Okay, can you please, Christian, letter E? Thank you. Portable CD players aren't as small as MP3 players. Easy, thank you. Can you please, Genesis, letter F? If got less time than I used to have. And the last one, Walter, please, letter G. He's not really as tall as he looks on TV. Excellent, thank you. Now, exercise number two. Remember, this is just for review. Put the words in order to make sentences. For example, notebooks are a bit more expensive than desktop computers. Letter B, Christian. Yes, uh, job hostels are nearly as expensive than desktop computers. Excellent, thank you. Let's continue, letter C. Can you please, Genesis, English? English is a lot easier to learn than Chinese. Thank you, letter D. Walter, trains? Trains are a bit more comfortable for long journey than buses. Than bosses. Thank you. Letter E, Christian. I don't think chemistry. Yeah, I don't think chemistry is quite as difficult as six. It's six. Thank you. Letter F. Hello, Marce. Welcome. Can you please, Marce, help me with the letter F? According. According, think chemistry is quite as difficult as physics. Physics. Thank you. Physical. And the last one, yes, the last one. Can you please, Genesis, the climate? Teacher. Yes. La F está repetida con la E. Really? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yes, it is true. Thank you so much. Letter, okay. let's see, chemistry. Okay, letter F. ¿Cómo quedaría la F entonces? According. Planes much safer according to statistics are than cars. De acuerdo a las estadísticas, los aviones son, los carros son más seguros que los aviones. Más seguros que los aviones. Any idea? According to statistics. According to statistics, ajá. Uh -huh. Los carros son más seguros que los aviones. Cars are... No serían que los aviones son más seguros que los carros. Fíjate que el libro así me lo, me lo tira cotejado. Porque, Ajá. porque el, el, ahí la última palabra dice dan cars, o sea, lo toma como junto. Aquí lo acuérdate que es ponerlo en orden, pero fíjate que sí, yo revisé este y el libro me lo tira que los aviones, mm. fíjate. Ajá. Quizás es hay un, un error de, de mm, espacio. Como yo creo que aquí es ponerlos en orden, yo creo que aquí quizás se les fue ponerlos Ajá. Dan, cars. Ajá. 
Ajá. Pero acotejado al libro decía que los carros eran más seguros que los aviones. According to statistics, cars are much safer than planes. Than planes. Excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one. Can you please? Oops, dije Genesis, pero no sé. Genesis, are you ready? Letter G. The climate. Let me know, please. Genesis 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, Marce, please. Okay, excellent. Yes, please. The answer. The climate. The climate is warming up a lot of fast than people than people think. No sé si tienes problemas de audio, hija, me lo, me lo confirmas, porfa. Okay, let's continue with the last one. Exercise number three. Remember, this is just a review. For example, complete the second sentences using the words in brackets. I got us as slightly, nearly, much, a lot, almost, and a lot. For example, walking, in this case you have cycling, cycling is faster than walking. Cycling is faster than walking. This is a comparative, two different, two different things. Using as, we are going to change completely. For example, walking, it isn't as fast as cycling. Letter B. Can you please, Walter, help me to read iPads? iPods are more fashionable than other types of MP3 players. Excellent. We are going to change completely using as. For example, can you please, Walter? Other types of MP3 players are not fashionable as iPods. As iPod, thank you. Can you please, letter C. Help me please, Christian, thank you. Motorcycle. Motorcycle racing, it is quite as exciting as for Formula One. Formula One, it's slightly. No se preocupen que ahí les traigo también unos ejemplos con esas palabras. Changing the sentences, can you please, Christian? Formula One. Yes, Formula One is slightly more exciting than motorcycle racing. Excellent. Letter D, Marce, hell. Hell is a lot more important than money. Excellent. We are going to completely change the sentence. Can you please, Marce, money? Money isn't nearly as important as health. Thank you. Let's continue with the letter E. Genesis, this year's course. Teacher, okay, Genesis. Okay, me avisa cuando arregles el audio, porfa. Thank you. Let's see. Can you please? Permítame, quiero ver quién ya ingresó a clases. Genesis, hay que arreglar ese audio, hija. Tengo aquí, Jasmine, yes. Yes, Jasmine, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you please, Jasmine, help me to read letter E. This year's course. This year's course isn't nearly as easy as last year's. Much okay. last year's. Excellent. Dexi, continue with the example. Can you please? Last year's course, thank you, Yasmin. Thank you, Yasmin. The example, please. Last year's course. Last course, last course was much easier than this year's. Than this year. Thank you. Letter F. Can you please, Walter, this computer? This computer is much faster than the old one. Another example, please. The old computer. The old computer was a lot slower than this one. Thank you so much. Hello, Marcelo. Can you please let me, let me see. Yes. Letter G. It, it is in, help me to read. Sorry, teacher. Letter G, please. This one. Uh, help me to read. It, it is in. It is in. Quite as hot today as yesterday. 
Okay, another example could be, can you please, Marcelo, it, it is? Almost as hot today as it was yesterday. And the last one, thank you, Marcelo. Can you please, Marce, today's exam? Today's exam was much shorter than yesterday's. Another example, using a lot. Yesterday's exam nearly as important as felt. Okay, completed in this case. Look at, if you see, we were using the words a little, a bit, slightly, not quiet, almost, nearly, a lot, much, far, and not nearly. Como así, teacher? Ustedes aprendieron a decir, <clears throat> mi casa es más grande que tu casa. My house is bigger than yours. Ustedes aprendieron a decir e inglés es tan fácil como japonés. English is as easy as Japanese. Aquí lo único que acabamos de hacer es que ingresamos o metimos, por decirlo así, estas palabras. A small difference, por ejemplo, en este caso, a little, significa un poco. A bit, un poquitito, o sea, es más chiquito. A bit. Slicely. Tiene dos significados. Levemente o un poco más. Not quiet. En este caso significa no exactamente. Almost. Significa casi. Nearly. Significa cerca o cercanamente. Cuando tenemos grandes diferencias. Por ejemplo, a lot. Un montón. Much, mucho, far, lejos de ser mejor. ¿Cómo así, Tiche? Pero far es lejos, sí. Pero aquí en otra expresión, utilizando con comparativos, lejos de ser mejor. No se preocupen que ahí les traigo más ejemplos. Y el último, the last one, not nearly. No tan cerca. O puede ser no tan cerca de ser. Look at my examples. Big difference and a small difference. I need a volunteer. Who wants to help me to read the instruction? You can use much. Please, volunteer. Thank you. Me. Thank you, Christian. Go. You can use much, a lot, a bit, and a little with the comparative form of adjective to show how. Uh, continue the difference. Okay, the difference are you can use not quiet, almost, nearly, and not nearly with us as uh, a small difference, a little, a bit, slightly. Uh, for example, a uh, cost eight with 50 uh, euros and the cost uh, nine euros. Stop. Por ejemplo, el objeto A cuesta 8.50 euros, el objeto B cuesta 9 euros. Please, the example. B. B is a little more expensive than A. Uh, James is a bit older than me. The exam was slightly more difficult than I expect. Stop. Ya se fijaron, ¿verdad? Quitémosle el a little. Por ejemplo, B is more expensive than A. Por ejemplo, eh, the blue car is more expensive than the red car. ¿Qué es lo único que cambia acá? A little. Como que yo quiero decir, el objeto B es un poquito, es un poco más caro que el objeto A. La única diferencia es que utilizamos a little, a bit, a slightly. Continue, Christian. No quiet. Not quiet. Uh, cost uh, eight uh, fifty euros and B cost nine euros. Uh, it isn't quiet as expensive as B. Almost. A is almost as expensive as B. Nearly. I'm nearly as old as James. Okay. Can you please help me to choose another student for the second part? Choose one, please, Christian. No, está Karina. Eh, no, she's no, coming, okay. she's coming. Marcelo. 
Ok, thank you. Can you please, Marcelo, big difference. ¿Me ayudas a leer, porfa? Yes, a lot, much, far, not nearly. Thank you. Ok. Uh, a lot. Mexico City is a lot bigger than Rome. <laughs> much. A Ferrari is much more expensive than a Ford. Far. A DVD is far better than a video for watching films. Not really. Rome isn't nearly as big as Mexico City. A Ford isn't nearly as expensive as a Ferrari. A video isn't nearly as cool as a DVD for watching films. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, oops, excuse me. Okay, look at my examples. Can you please, Walter, help me to read. My phone is a little more expensive than yours. O sea, mi teléfono celular es un poco más caro que el tuyo. Continue, Walter, please. Please, John or Juan. Juan is a bit taller than me. Juan es un poquito más alto que yo. Continue, slightly. Another example with a bit. I want a little bit more, please. Ok, ¿por qué puse este, esta expresión? Porque en este caso, a bit no solamente se utiliza para comparativos, también para expresiones. Por ejemplo, usted cuando le han servido X comida, entonces viene usted y dice, I want a little bit more. Por favor, quisiera un poquito más. I want a little bit more. Continue with it slightly, please. The driving test was slightly easier than I expected. El examen de manejo fue un poco más fácil. Esta palabra slightly cambia la oración. Un poco más fácil. Fue un poco más fácil de lo que yo esperaba. Continue, Walter. Thank you. Sultan is not as quiet place as Santa Ana. Si yo digo Usulután, it is a quiet place as Santa Ana. Estoy diciendo como que Usulután no es tan tranquilo como Santa Ana. Pero si yo ya ingreso la palabra quiet, porque aquí ya está en negativo, it is a quiet, estoy diciendo Usulután no es exactamente un lugar tan tranquilo como Santa Ana. Continue. I almost passed the test. Casi paso el examen. Another example. Pizza is almost as delicious as burgers. Yo puedo decir, como ustedes aprendieron, pizza es tan deliciosa como la hamburguesa. O en este caso, la pizza es casi tan deliciosa como las hamburguesas. Next. I'm nearly as smart as my brother. Cerca, nearly. Teacher, pero yo puedo decir, my house is near. Claro, usted puede decir, mi casa está cerca. Pero en este caso, nearly, es como que yo diga, yo soy casi tan inteligente como mi hermano. Siguiente, please, Walter. Chalatenango. Chalatenango is a lot as big as Usulután. Chalatenango es mucho más grande que Usulután. I have a lot of time to practice. Yo puedo ocupar también la palabra a lot como expresión. I have a lot of time. Tengo mucho tiempo para practicar. I have a lot of time to practice. Continue with much. To travel to Dubai is much more expensive than traveling to Colombia. O sea, en este caso, viajar a Dubai es mucho más caro que viajar a Colombia. Vamos con far. Michael Jackson is far better than Madonna at dancing. Michael Jackson is far better. Lejos de ser mejor. Michael Jackson is far better than Madonna at dancing. Lejos de ser mejor de bueno que Madonna en el baile. Continue. A dog isn't nearly as good as a rabbit. 
Por ejemplo, un perro, un perro, irisen nerli, no está tan cerca de ser tan bueno como un conejo. Podemos hablar de algo, ya sea en su inteligencia, eh, ya sea en su capacidad de amar al ser humano, etc. Irisen nerli as good as rabbit. And the last one, please. My blouse is not nearly as cheap as yours. O sea, como decir, mi blusa, mi blusa no es tan barata, no es tan barata como la tuya o como tu blusa. Ok, excellent. So, I have just one question. Let's see, can you please, Christian, turn on your audio, please. Se prepara Marce. Yeah. What's your opinion about the comparatives, Christian? I mean, do you feel easy, confused, or difficult, or what? Uh, I consider it's easy, teacher, for uh, for look the difference with the uh, I don't know a big or small things. Do you remember, or in this case, do you study all the comparatives? For example, big, bigger. Superlative, biggest. Do you know the difference or maybe do you need to practice more? No, I, I know the difference. Okay. And the comparative or superlative. Oh, superlative. Excellent. Yeah. What about you, Marce? I want to listen your opinion. Easy, difficult, a piece of cake. Yes. Okay, for me, I consider it a lot of confused. Because, really? Uh, yes, because I consider it about myself because I don't have a lot of time for to practice, practice or or staying in the class. Um, yes, maybe it can be the. Uh -huh. It's difficult uh, when I uh, hear the class again. I'm very confused. For example, uh, it, it isn't the same to watch a video that to be in class, right? Yes, it's different. Yes, but don't worry about it. You need only to practice. For example, let me try. How can I say, yo soy mejor que tú? I am yo, better than uh -huh. you. Yo soy la mejor. I am the best. Mi casa es más bonita que tu casa. My house is more beautiful than yours. Ok, ok, Walter. Solo me avisa cuando regrese, please, porque a veces lo llamo y de repente no sé qué se me hace. Ok, thank you. Uh, excuse me, Marce. Mi casa es la más bonita. My house is la más Most Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes, easy. Vamos con la otra parte. Mi casa es tan bonita como tu casa. O sea, ya no estoy diciendo que la mía es más bonita, sino que las dos son bonitas. Mi casa es tan bonita como tu casa. My house is... I don't know. <laughs> How do you say bonito o bonita? It's beautiful. Es hermosa. Yo quiero bonito. Any help, um, please? Bonito o bonita? Yes, students, please. Any help? Bonito o bonita? I don't know. Maybe pretty? pretty? Yes, pretty. pretty. Excellent. So, mi casa es tan bonita como tu casa. My house is pretty. My house is as pretty? As pretty as yours. Excelente. Mi perro es tan inteligente como tu perro. My dog is as intelligent as yours. Excellent. Vaya. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yes, you only, you only need to practice. Just that. Only to practice. Okay? Okay. Okay, vale. Me avisan cuando regrese. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. I got an evaluation. This is very easy. 
because you need to practice pronunciation. In this case, I have some tests, some readings very easy to understand. I'm going to start in this case, let's see. I'm going to start according to the first person. Christian, you are the first one on my list. Se prepara. Genesis, me avisas, hija, porfa, con el audio. Please, please, no es lo mismo escuchar la clase que participar. Okay, eh, Christian, number one, Marce, number two. Okay, Christian, please, go ahead. Okay, my family. Hello, friends. My name is Ben. I'm seven years old, and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Katie, Nick, Anna, Kim, Barry, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and dad, my three sisters and two brothers, my grandpa and grandma living in a small house next to my school. We all love animals, and today we are going to the zoo. My favorite animal are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He is 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She is 39 years old and she loves the giraffes. Zero mistakes. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Stay there, please. Marce, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Okay, this is just for practice pronunciation. Se prepara Marcelo. Okay, Marce, go ahead. Okay, my family. Hello, friends. My name is Ben. I'm seven years old, and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Patty, Nick, Anna, Kim, Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and dad, my three sisters and two brothers. My grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to my school. We all love animals and today we are going to the zoo. My favorite animals are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He's 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She's 39 years old and she loves the giraffe. Perfect. Zero mistakes. Congratulations. Marcelo, are you ready? Please be ready. Genesis. Okay, Marcelo, go, please. Hello, friends. My name is Ben. I'm seven years old, and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Kathy, Nick, <clears throat> Anna, Kim, Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and my and that my three sisters and two brothers, my grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to my school. We, we are love animals and today we are going to the show. Uh, my favorite animals are the polar bears. Robert and my father, he's 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She is um, uh, 39 years old and she loves the giraffe. Excellent. Zero mistakes. Congratulations. Thank you. Genesis, are you ready? Yes. Good. Se prepara Walter. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Hello friends, my name is Ben. I have seven years old and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Kathy, Nick, Anna, Kim, Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and dad, my three sisters and two brothers. My grandma, my grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to my school. We all love animals, and today we are going to the zoo. My favorite animal are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He for 43 years old, and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She's 39 years old, and she loves giraffes. He loves the giraffe. Thank you. Perfect. Zero mistakes. Walter, I'm going to continue with you. Please, Jasmine, be ready. You are the next one. Thank you, Walter. Go. 
Hello friends, my name is Ben. I'm seven years old and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Katie, Nick, and Kim, Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and dad. My three sisters and two brothers. My grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to my school. We all love animals and today we're going to the zoo. My favorite animals are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He's 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She's 39 years old and she loves the giraffe. Me encanta porque todos han respetado las terceras personas. Por ejemplo, she loves. No me dicen she loves. Excelente. Thank you, Walter. Zero mistakes. Congratulations. Uh, Jasmine, are you ready? Yes. Good. Excellent. <coughs> I'm going to Sorry. finish. Don't worry about it. I'm going to finish with Valeria. Okay, Jasmine, go, please. My family. Hello, friends. My name is Ben. I am seven, seven years old, and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Mac, Cady, Nick, Anna, Kim, Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom, with my mom and dad. My three sisters and two brothers. My grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to my school. We all love animals. And today we are going to the zoo. My favorite animals are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He's 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She's 39 years old and she loves the giraffe. Excellent, she loves the giraffe. This is a very easy test. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, Vale, are you ready? Yes. Excellent, I'm going to finish with you. My family, go ahead, please. Okay, my family. Hello, friends, my name is Ben. I am seven years old and this is my family. They are Robert, Lucy, Max, Kathy, Nick, Anna, Kim, and Betty, and George. I live in a big house with my mom and dad, my three sisters and two brothers. My grandma, my grandpa and grandma live in a small house next to me at school. We, are, we all love animals and today we are going to the zoo. My favorite animals are the polar bears. Robert is my father. He is 14, 43 years old and he loves the elephants. Lucy is my mom. She is 39 years old and she loves the giraffe. Excellent. Just two, only two little mistakes. This one, my. Next to my. My. And this one, uh, this one, 39. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, <laughs> only two mistakes. Excellent, thank you. Okay, next reading. Christian, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Genesis, nos preparamos. Okay, Christian, please go ahead. Lydia is a hairdresser. This is Lydia. She is 19. She is tall and slim. She has curly long brown and hair, curly long gray. Sorry. She has curly long brown hair and gray eyes. She lives with her parents. Lydia is a hairdresser apprentice. She loves her job. She always gets get up at 7.30 and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a piece of toast. She usually gets the bus to work but sometimes her mom gives her a lift. Uh, she cuts hair and styles it. Ladies are always happy with their haircut. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon and so she saves her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves work at six and gets home half an hour later. Her mom always cooks dinner. In the evening, Lydia watch TV 
and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. She never stays up late. Excellent. Thanks to respect the third person. Cooks, for example, cuts, for example, gets, watches. Excellent. Thank you. Next. Genesis, ready? And please, Marce, you are the next one. Okay, Genesis, go, please. This is Lydia. She is 19. She is tall and slim. She has curly long brown hair and green eyes. She lives with her parents. Lydia is a hairdresser apprentice. She loves her job. She always gets up 7.30 and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a piece of toast. She usually gets the bus to work, but sometimes her mom give, gives her a lift. She could she courts air and styles it. Ladies are always happy with their higher court. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon and she lo she saves her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves to she leaves work at six and get get home half uh, hours later her mom always cook dinner in the evening lydia watches tv and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock she never stay up late thank you marce are you ready yes i'm ready Perfect, Marcelo, nos preparamos. Okay, Marce, go, please. This is Lydia. She's 19. She's tall and slim. She has curly long brown hair and gray eyes. She lives with her parents. Lydia is a hairdresser apprentice. apprentice. She loves her job. She always get up, gets up at 7.30 and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a piece of toast. She usually gets the bus to work, but sometimes her mom gives her a lift. She cuts hair and a stylist. Ladies are always happy when, with their haircut. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon, and so she saves her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves work at six and gets home half an hour later. Her mom always cooks dinner. In the evening, Lydia watches TV and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. She never stays up. Sorry. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marcelo. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Please <laughs> be ready, Valeria. Thank you. Okay, Marcelo, go ahead. This is Lydia. She is 19. She is tall and slime. slime. Uh, she has curly, long brown hair and gray eyes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she lives, no, she lives Leaves, uh -huh. with, with her parents. Lydia is a hairdresser apprentice. She loves her job. She always gets get, get up at 7.30 uh, and she has a shower. After that, um, she has a cup of coffee and a paste of toast. She, she actually uh, get, gets the bus to work, but sometimes her mom gives uh, 
get a light. Uh, she could, she, she could hair and styles it. Ladies are always happy with their hair cut. Uh, <coughs> they never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon and so she saves her money. Oh, money. <laughs> uh, money? Mm -hmm. she, has, she has lunch at one o'clock. Actually, uh, just usually. a sandwich. Uh, usually, I'm sorry. <laughs> usually, uh, just a sandwich. She leaves, uh, works at, at six and gets home uh, half an hour later. Uh, her mom always cook dinner in the uh, evening. Lively, Lydia watch TV and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. She never stay up late. Stays up. Okay, be careful with some words. Thank you, Marcelo. Vale, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. I and... my dog. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to continue with Walter. Okay, Vale, go, please. Okay, this is Lydia. She's 19. She is tall and slim. She has curly long, long brown hair and gray eyes. Don't worry yes. about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, continue. Okay. Uh, she lives with her parents. Lydia is he's a hairdresser, apprentice, and she loves her job. Her job. Job. Yes. She always gets up at seven thirty, and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a. A case of toast. toast. She usually gets gets the bus to work, but sometimes her mom gives her a lift. She cuts hair and style style it. And ladies are always happy with with their haircut. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy here a one a one salon and um, shoes hair, be on hair, uh, on on um, salon. okay hair on salon and so she saves her hair money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves work at six and get home half. And or or later, her mom always cooks dinner in the evening. Lydia watches TV and goes to bed at about eleven o'clock. She never stay up late. Thank you so much, Walter. And I'm going to finish with Jasmine. Okay, Walter, go ahead, please. Okay, and um, this is Lydia. She's 19. She's tall and slim. She has curly long brown hair and gray, gray eyes. She lives with her parents. Didia is a hairdress, hairdresser's apprentice. She loves her job. She always gets up at 7.30 and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a piece of toast. She usually gets the bus to work, but sometimes her mom gives her a lift. She cut hair and styled it. Ladies are always happy with their haircuts. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own saloon, so she has her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves work at six and gets home half an hour later. Her mom always cooks dinner. In the evening, Lydia watches TV and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. She's never stayed up late. 
Excellent, nice, perfect. Okay, Jasmine, are you ready? Yes. Okay, excellent. Go ahead, please. This okay. is Lydia, go. Lydia is a hard dresser. This is Lydia, she's 19. She's a tall and a slim. She's a she has a curly long brown hair and gray eyes. She lives with her parents. Lydia is a high dresser of parents. She loves her job. She always get up at 7.13 o'clock and she has a shower. After that, she has a cup of coffee and a piece of toast. She usually gets the boss to work, but sometimes her mom gives her a lift. She could hire and style it. Ladies are always happy with their haircut. They never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon and so saves her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually use a sandwich. She leaves work and six and get home half an hour later. Her mom always cooks dinner. In the evening, Lydia watches TV and goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. She never stays up late. Excellent. Thank you so much. I have a new student, but it, well, it isn't a new student for me because she's a part of the enjoying another group. Hello, Rachel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to finish with you, Rachel. Are you ready? Yes, right? Yes. Excellent. Go, please. Lydia is hairdresser. This is Lydia. She is 19. She is tall and slim. She has curly long, brown hair and gray eyes. She lives with her parents. Lydia is a hairdresser apprentice. She loves her job. She always gets up at 7 30 and she has a shower after that cup of coffee and a piece of toast usually gets the Perdón, don't worry don't worry she usually gets the bus to work but sometimes her mom gives her a lift she goes hair and stylist ladies are always happy with their hair they never complain. Lydia wants to buy her own salon, and so she saves her money. She has lunch at one o'clock, usually just a sandwich. She leaves, she leaves work at six and gets home half an hour later. Her mom always cooks dinner in the evening. Lydia watches TV and goes to bed about 11 o'clock she never stayed up late. Excellent, perfect, nice. Okay, I'm going to read me this one and I'm going to read me this one because this is just for practice. Okay, I want to congratulate each of you because most of you have a really good pronunciation and some of you just has to improve your pronunciation by practicing. The next topic is the numbers, but it isn't the simple topic of one, two, three, no. We are going to, we are going to practice the numbers by practicing the reading at the same time. For example, numbers names. Obviamente no los voy a poner a leer a cada uno porque nos vamos a dormir. In this case, I'm going to teach you as the easiest way to learn how to pronounce the numbers. For example, the easiest are from one to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Most of the students get confused from 13 to 19. ¿Cuál es la palabra común aquí? Teen. 
porque las próximas lecturas que ustedes van a leer traen números. Por eso quise hacer un pequeño repaso de esto. Por ejemplo, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. ¿Por qué creen ustedes que todos los números desde el 13 hasta el 19 terminan en teen? ¿Any idea? It's very easy. ¿Any idea? No? Fine. ¿De escena? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Ajá. Teen. Teen. Viene de una palabra en inglés. Teen. Joven. Joven. Excelente. Joven o adolescente. Teen viene de teenager, adolescente. According to United States, from 13 to 90, you are young. You are a teenager. De los 13 a los 19, usted es un adolescente. De los 20 para arriba, you are an adult. So, what is the most confused? For example, 13, 30. 30. ¿Cuál es, cuál, ¿Qué es lo que más se confunde en los alumnos? Yo le digo a alguien, hey, how old are you? Y tal vez el alumno tiene 13 y me dice, ah, I am 30. Tienes 30. No, 13. 14, 40, 40. 15, 50, 50. 16, 60, 60. 17, 70, 70. 18, 80, 80. 90, 90, 90. The rest are very easy. For example, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, y 90. 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir 21. 21, piche, pero eso ya lo sé. Sí, pero es que lo voy a poner a usted a leer cantidades grandes. Por eso quiero iniciar desde la base. 54, 54. 77, 77. 99, 99. Vamos con los cientos. Otra palabra que los alumnos se confunden es cientos y miles. Cientos como decir 200, 300, 400, etcétera, es hundred, hundred. Y miles es dozen, o como está aquí, dozen. Mil, dos mil, tres mil, one, eh, por ejemplo, mil, one thousand, dos mil, two thousand. Entonces, vamos con cientos. Por ejemplo, cien, one hundred. Pero si yo quiero decir en este caso, ciento ochenta, siempre traduzco cien, one hundred, ochenta, 80, 184, 184, 220, fácil, 2, 200, porque viene del 2, 220, 233, 230, 33, 3, 233, voy por ejemplo 800, 8, 8, otra cosa que se confunden los alumnos. Yo les digo, ok, 800 en inglés. Me dicen 80. No, ese es 80. Yo quiero 8. 800. 800. 800. 817. 817. Por ejemplo, en este caso, ese es para los cientos. Voy con los miles. Mil, ah, fácil, 1,000. Pero si yo quiero decir 40 mil, fácil, el 40, 40. Como es 40 mil, 40, 000. Si yo quiero decir en este caso eh, 10 mil, fácil, 10, 10, 10 mil, 10, 000. En el caso, por ejemplo, que yo tengo aquí 100 mil, primero traduzco el 100, 100, normal, pero como yo quiero 100 mil, 100,000. En el caso del millón, fácil, igual, solo million. Un millón, one million. Veintidós millones, twenty-two million. Diez millones, ten million. Por ejemplo, en este caso, billion para billones. 
un, un billón, un millón, one billion, dos millones, two millions. Voy a hacer un, pe un pequeño eh, ejercicio. Quiero que observe acá. Dos mil quinientos cuarenta y cinco. Pilas porque después voy one by one, después voy uno por uno. Dos mil quinientos cuarenta y cinco. Primero traduzco dos mil, two thousand, quinientos, five hundred, cuarenta, forty, pero como quiero cuarenta y cinco, forty five. Two thousand, five hundred, forty five. Dos mil quinientos cuarenta y cinco. Voy con el siguiente. Cinco mil seiscientos cincuenta y seis. Cinco mil en inglés, five thousand. Seiscientos, six hundred. 56, 50, y como es 6, 56. 5,656. Si voy muy rápido, ups, perdón, me avisa. Cantidades grandes. 33,499. Fácil, tradujo primero el 33,000. O sea, 33,000. Ya tengo ahí los 33,000. Ah, pero yo quiero 499. 33,499. 33,499. 99. 90 es 99. Voy con el siguiente. 10,815. Fácil. Traduzco primero el 10,000. Miles es, es thousand, miles, y hundreds para cientos. Teacher ya lo explico, sí, pero es que se confunde. Diez mil, ten thousand, ochocientos, eight hundred, y quince, fifteen. No fifty, no, fifty es cincuenta. Yo quiero quince, la edad de los adolescentes, fifteen. Ten thousand, eight hundred, fifteen. 517, fácil, 500, 500, 500, 17, 17, la edad de los teenagers todavía, 517, ok, voy a leer la lectura y de ahí voy a ir en orden, solo que hoy voy a comenzar, quiero ver, si sí, siempre de, desde arriba hacia abajo. Hello, my name is Lily, I was born in 2008. I'm 13 years old. I have two sisters. My middle is 17 years old and my oldest sister is 27. We live with our parents in USA in California since 2015. This is a really good neighborhood. They are 120 houses, five parks, 150 trees and a big pool for all. There is also a school. It was founded in 2003. I study at this school since 2019. I'm on fifth grade. Estoy en quinto grado. There is a hospital near to my house. My mom says it was found in 2007. I like where I live because everything is near, such as malls, bakeries, banks, parks, cinemas, and markets. Christian, I'm going to start with you. Se prepara Genesis. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello. Paréntesis. Name... No se estrese ahorita. Yo sé que apenas vamos iniciando. Si, se, si no sabe cómo decir un número, please, don't be shy. Ask to your teacher. Okay, Christian, excuse me, go please. Okay, hello. My name is Lily. I was born in 2008. I'm 13 years old. I have two sisters. My middle is 17 years old. And my oldest sister is uh, 27. Uh, we live with our parents in USA, in California since uh, 2015. Uh, this is a really good neighborhood. Uh, there are uh, 100 
20 houses, five park, uh, 150 trees, and a big pool for all. Eh, stop, thank you, Genesis. Continue with the second part. Se prepara Marcela con el primer párrafo otra vez. Okay, Genesis, go ahead, please. There is also a school. Uh, it was found in 2003. I study at this school since 2019. I'm in fifth grade. There is a hospital near to my house. My mom says it was found in 2007. I like where I live because everything is near, such as, as malls, bakeries, banks, parks, cinema, and markets. Excellent. Marce, please, can you help me to read the first paragraph? Se prepara Marcelo con el segundo. Okay, Marce, go, please. Hello, my name is Lily. I was born in 2008. I am 13 years old. I have two sisters. My middle is 17 years old and my oldest sister is 27. We live with our parents in, U in USA, California since 2015. This, was, this is a really good neighborhood. There are 120 houses, five parks and 150 trees and a big pool for all. For all. Thank you. Marcelo, please, the second part. And Rachel, we are going to read the first parts again. Okay, Marcelo, go, please. Okay. There is also a school. It was founded in 2003. I, stu I study at this school since uh, one, no, 2019. I'm oh, five grade. There is a hospital, a hospital near to my house. My mom says it was founded in 2007. I like where I live because everything is near such as malls, vaccaries, banks, parks, cinemas, and markets. Okay, thank you. Rachel, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, first. excellent. Yes. yes, the first paragraph, and let's see, Valeria, are you going to help me with the sec? You are going to help me with the second paragraph. Okay, Rachel, Please. go ahead. Okay, hello, my name is Lily. I was born in 2008. I'm 13 years old. I have two sisters. My middle is 17 years old, and my oldest sister is 27. We live with our parents in USA and in California science 2015 this is a really good neighborhood there are 120 houses five parks 150 trees and a big pool for all excellent okay vale are you ready yes excellent and then jasmine are going to you are going to help me with the first paragraph and walter i'm going to finish with you with the second okay go ahead vale thank you there is also a school. It was founded in 2003. I study in this school since 2019. I am on 50 grade. There is a hospital near to my house. My mom said it was founded in 2007. I like where I live because everything is near such is malls, bakeries, bank, parks, cinema, and markets. Excellent, perfect, thank you. Okay, Jasmine, are you ready? Okay. Excellent, Walter, I'm going to finish with you with the second part. Okay, my, uh, Jasmine, go please. Hello, my name is Lily. I was born in 208. 2000. 2008, I'm sorry. I am 13 years old. I have two sisters. My middle is 
17 years old and my oldest sister is 20, 27. We live with our parents in USA, in California since uh, 2015. This is a really good neighborhood. There, there are uh, 120 houses, five parks, 115 trees, mm -hmm. 15 trees, and a big pool for all. Excellent. Walter, I'm going to finish with you. There is also a school. It was founded in 2003. I study at this, this school since 2019. I'm on fifth grade. There is, a, there is a hospital near to my house. My mom is, said it was founded in 2007. I like where I live because everything is near, is near such as mall, such as malls, bakeries, banks, parks, cinemas, markets. Excellent, thank you so much. Numbers, okay. Boy, one by one, please pay attention to your partners. Christian, turn on your audio, please. Voy con la primera fila contigo, yes. se prepara Génesis con la segunda. Okay. Nueve. Nine. Cuarenta y cuatro. Forty four. Ciento quince. 115. 127. 127. 123. 223. Excelente. Génesis, vamos con la siguiente fila. Se prepara Marce. 300. 300. 452. 450. 52. Excelente. 6012. 6012. Ajá. 6000. 6012. 12. 689. 689. Excelente. 710. 710. Excelente. Vamos, Marcia, contigo. Recuerde, si algún número no se lo sabe, pregúnteme porque yo sé que apenas lo vamos viendo. Marce, ocho, se prepara Marcelo, 881. 881. Excelente. 900. 900. Good. 905. 905. Excelente. 977. 977. 984. 984. Excelente. Marcelo, se prepara Rachel. Ok, Marcelo. Mil. <ríe> eh, Excelente. 1500. Eh, 1, 000, um, Excelente. 2700. 2700. 2800. 2800. 2900. 2900. Excelente, caballero. Rachel, voy contigo. Se prepara Valeria. Ok, Rachel. 468. 468. 3.600. 3.700. 3.755. 3.755. Excelente. 4.374. Excelente. Último, 5,200. 5,200. Perfect. Ok, vale. Jasmine, I'm going to I... continue with you. Vale, 2,500. 2,500. Excellent. 3,777. 3,777. 
77. Excelente. 4,000. 4,000. 5,809. 5,809. 8, 8, 8. Excelente. Y el último, 6,440. 6,440. Excelente. Jasmine, 5,740. 5,714. 40. 40. 40. Muy bien, Walter, 3,100. 3,100. Jasmine, 6,055. 6,050. 50, 50. Otra vez, 6,055. Uh, 6,550. <laughs> 55. Uh, 55, muy bien. Walter. <laughs> 7200 y al revés lo estaba diciendo. Ok, no se preocupe. No, yo por eso le digo, eso no se preocupen, que yo sé que es práctica, eh, vamos iniciando los números, pero de hecho lo han hecho muy bien. Eh, Walter, 7254. 7254. Jasmine, 10000. I'm sorry. 10000. Excelente, yes, 10,000. Ok, easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> ok, Cristian, voy contigo nuevamente. Activemos micrófonos, thank you. Vamos con los colores okay. azules. 900. Ok. Ya con, eso, ya con eso termino, no se preocupen. Ok, please, okay. repeat it. <laughs> 900. 2,588. 2,588. 3,587. 3,587. 6,745. 6,745. Excelente, 8,375. 8,000, 11,700. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seven. Perdón. Uh -huh. eh, Eleven thousand seven hundred. Yes, seven hundred. Muy bien. Doce mil catorce. La emoción. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve thousand fourteen. Eh, Muy bien. Ochenta mil. Eh, Eighty thousand. Excelente. Good night, Christian. See you Good Monday. Night, See you ok, Monday. Genesis. Vamos con los números en rojo. Setecientos cincuenta. 7,000. Ah, ah, 750. 7, 100. 100. 7, no se preocupe, como les digo ahorita, les, se pueden equivocar porque vamos iniciando. 750. Excelente, 1028. 1,28. 2,641. 2,006,641. 2,006,641. Three thousand five. Cinco mil veinte. Five thousand twenty. Six thousand seven hundred. Ocho mil quinientos cuarenta y siete. Eight thousand five hundred forty-seven. Perfect. The last one, quince mil. Five thousand. Ah, ah, 15. 50,000. 50, ah, ah, ese es 50, yo quiero 15. 15,000. Excelente, 15,000. Thank you, good night. Hey, I'm going to continue with volunteers. Any volunteer? No lo voy a hacer sí. en orden. Ok. Me, teacher. 
Ok, ah. Jasmine, primer micrófono que se activó. Jasmine, 300. 7,979. Eh, 7,899. Eight, 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 eight. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. 900. Muy bien. <laughs> Mire, Jasmine, una pregunta personal. My, my first class. <laughs> Ay, my, my first class. My goodness. Hey, Jasmine, this is a, a personal question. Este, usted siempre anda contenta, vea. Es que yo, usted siempre me irradia, que, o sea, su, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Su alegría me la transmite. Entonces a mí me dan ganas también de reírme. Qué bueno. Qué eso bueno. Por eso, yo creo que usted no está enojada. Vamos, perdón, vamos con 8,789. Ok. 80, 000, 8,000. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Excelente. Good night. Bye. Yeah. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Good night, Good night teacher. Okay. Yeah. Marcelo, number one. Valeria, number two. Okay, Marcelo, voy con 100. 1,500. 1,500. 1,500. 1,500. 4,100. 5,713. 5,713. 13, la edad de los jóvenes. No quiero 30. 30. Ah, no quiero... 13, 13. Excelente. 8,000. Eh, Muy bien. 9,008. 9,005. Five. Ah, no. Ey, ey. Okay. Nueve mil ochocientos cincuenta y dos. Nine thousand. Eh. Eight hundred. Eh. Forty. No. Forty. Eight. Eight. Cincuenta y dos. No. Fifty. Fifty two. Muy bien. Veinte mil. Eh. Twenty. Twenty. Eh. Ese no, es ciento. Ok, twenty thousand. Cincuenta mil. Twenty thousand. Uh, five, five thousand. No, cincuenta. Eh, no, fifty. Ajá, cincuenta mil. Fifty thousand. Excelente, 50, caballero. Feliz noche. Good night. Ok, vale, Good continue. Ciento quince. Eh. 115. Excelente. 1050. 1050. Excelente. 2777. 2777. Perfect. 3.000. 3.000. 4.889. Eh, 4,880, no, A, 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 8, excelente, 6.025, 6,025, 8,999, Thousand night hundred ninety nine sesenta mil sixty thousand excelente muy bien thank you vale good night volunteer mi teacher okay Rachel excelente vamos con cuatrocientos four hundred 
Excelente, señorita. Good night. Good night. Next, volunteer, Marce o Walter? Me. Ok, Marce. I'm going to finish with Walter. Ok, Marce. 17. 17. 1,500. 1,500. 2,477. 2,477. 3,005. 3,000. 7,123. 7,123. 8,055. 80,000. 80,000. Excellent, Marce. Thank you. Good night. See you on Monday. Okay, Walter. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ok, 15. 15. 2330. 2330. 3124. 3124. 5963. 5963. Excelente, 7007. 7007. 8012. 8012. Uh, Nueve, 12. yeah, 12. 9,100. Okay, 100,000. Ok, 100,000. 1,000. 100,000. Excelente. <laughs> Muy bien. Thank you, Walter. Have okay, a great, thanks. good weekend. See you on Monday. Good night. Okay. Thanks. Good night.